Hello and welcome to another video. And before I start, I'm going to take a lot of stick for this one. Like it's going to attract a lot of negativity. It's a good job I'm not fussed about dislikes because this video is going to get a lot, you know? So all I would ask is that if you watch my videos, if you enjoy my content, if you derive some entertainment, like I say, you know, you like my Luca intros or whatever it is, if you want to support me, I'd appreciate it if you would drop this one a like, just to kind of address the balance, you know? In the same way that like, you know, if you, so you punch an old lady in the face and then you immediately go and give her a box of celebrations, like, her face is gonna hurt. She might have to go to like A&E, but at least she's got some you know, nice little like Snickers and Milky Ways to eat while she's in the waiting room. Oh, and if you're new and you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel because it's sick. Okay, now that's out of the way and I've hit my daily quota for weird old lady analogies, let's get on with the video. Okay, we're in. Now, since I last made a video on steroids, I've had well over 100,000 new subscribers to my channel, and so I'm gonna start today's video by addressing the title and answering the question that a lot of you, probably most of you came here for. Do I take steroids? Nope. Sorry, that was probably quite anticlimactic. But no, I don't take steroids now, I never have done, I can say with 99% certainty, I never will do. Now, people are gonna form their own opinions about this, right? And that's completely fine, like I'm not naive, I know that everyone is entitled to think what they wanna think, and that's the beauty of like living in the Western world, right? Or at least not living in friggin' North Korea. I'm not here to like desperately plead my innocence, like all I can do is present you with the facts, then you guys can make an informed judgment based on that. So, starting with May 2017, so like a year and a half ago, um, I took a drugs test, or I was drugs tested, at a powerlifting meet and I passed that drugs test. Now, you can look back at my videos at that time, I was bigger and stronger then than I am now. So I'm taking steroids like they're not working. Now, on top of this, last year I took a test for my testosterone levels, right? And they came back within the normal range. Again, you can go back and look at my videos on that. Now, the significance of that is that if I was taking steroids, or if I had been taking steroids, my testosterone levels would have either been really, really high, or had I just come off steroids, I would have been really, really low. It's basically impossible for me to have been taking steroids and then be given an average, like a normal, within the normal range, reading for my testosterone levels. And in addition to this, all of my siblings share my friggin' like, sit next so you look at pictures of my younger brother in particular and even my sister neither of whom really train consistently at all they both have a decent you know like definitely a far like well above average physique um and plus like you know i'm married i'm 33 i have a two-year-old son i used to be a teacher like although i'm a bodybuilder i have no i've never competed i have no intention of competing so it just makes no sense like why would i take any performance enhancing drugs now the funny thing about the situation is that i can't win Right, like if I make a video like this one where I put my points across and I explain that I'm not taking steroids, everyone's gonna say, oh, he's making a video about it, he must be on steroids. Like I can literally see the Reddit forums right now. People will say, oh, he's, he's defending his natural state because he has to be on steroids, okay? But conversely, if people are accusing me of taking steroids and I just say nothing, like everyone's gonna assume I'm taking them anyway, you know? So what can I do? Like put yourself in my shoes. Imagine someone is accusing you of doing something that you don't do, right? You'd wanna tell them they're wrong. You're know? like, it's pretty friggin' annoying. Anyway, I did not make this video just to tell you that I'm not on steroids. There are a few far more important important steroid related issues, almost I guess myths that I wanted to discuss that are kind of I guess the reason that people are making the accusations in the first place. So the first area I wanted to talk about is the whole like fake natty epidemic, right? Like if you look on Instagram and particularly YouTube, you would think it was like a friggin' international crisis, right? Like everyone's on drugs, everyone's lying about it, everyone's a fake natty, right? There are channels whose content solely revolves around making videos discussing whether certain people certain individuals are natural or not now that's fine right you know it's good content people want to see it that's fine i understand that you'd, you'd make those videos right the problem is that people firstly some people don't have you know great comprehension skills and great ability to kind of make an informed decision on someone and and b people love to jump on a bandwagon right people are ready just looking for a friggin bandwagon to jump on so what happens is like i said everyone will just get involved and just assume that everyone's on drugs right the truth is I really don't see a big issue. I don't think there are actually that many like fake naturals around. Like outside, there's you know, there's probably a, there's, I can think of maybe like let's say probably three or four really obvious ones off the top of my head. I'm not going to name anyone, but like you know, everyone knows three or four really obvious ones. Um, people who take drugs who claim they don't, right? But aside from that, if you look at the you know the reasonably top level fitness YouTubers, I really don't think it's a problem. I don't think there are I don't think there are that many people. I think most people 
are natural and the people that are taking drugs will talk about it or that at least you know they won't preach being natural they'll just kind of stay quiet on it i don't think genuinely there are that many people that are taking drugs and they're adamantly claiming they're natural so i really don't think it's a big issue leading on from this there's a new thing i'm seeing like with increasing regularity over the last i guess few months in particular and that is people using their natural status as like some kind of freaking badge like it's some kind of incredible achievement and people almost using it as an excuse. I think like people will post pictures, I've seen it on Instagram quite a lot, people post pictures of themselves and maybe they haven't got like, you know, the greatest physique, but they'll say, you know, oh, I've done amazing because I'm a natural bodybuilder. You know, like I've done, you know, I've only made this much progress because I'm a natural bodybuilder. Like, admittedly, you know, of course, if you are a natural bodybuilder, then you're gonna make less progress than someone taking drugs, obviously, right? That's just science, okay? But it's not like you have friggin' like no limbs, like you still have a body, you can still train, you can still eat food, you can still make progress. So I think using, saying oh, I'm a natural bodybuilder, that's why I haven't made loads of progress, is just like a really lazy excuse. Like if I use myself as an example, if you look at my physique now, compared to where it was like, you know, pretty much bang on a year ago, it isn't that much different, right? I haven't got, I haven't really made significant changes in terms of my size or the amount of muscle mass I have or my leanness. I'm, I look basically the same, right? Now I can say, oh, you know, I'm a lateral bodybuilder, so you know, I've done really well to make, you know, to gain like 0.2 pounds of muscle in a year. But actually, that would be a lazy excuse, like an easy way out. The truth is, I could have trained harder, right? I could have trained more frequently. I could have accumulated more training volume. I could have been more careful with managing injuries. I could have eaten more food. I could have slept more. There are a plethora of reasons or things that I could have done to make myself make more progress, right? So saying oh, I'm a natural bodybuilder, so it's fine. It's just a really lazy way out. And the third and final thing I want to talk about, and probably I guess arguably the most important thing, is that people don't simply don't understand the importance of genetics, right? The role that genetics play in people's physiques, like. Until you've seen someone that has outrageous genetics, people can't believe that it's possible to get a crazy physique without taking drugs. The truth is that genetics are everything, right? It sucks for, you know, if you have poor genetics, then you know, it really sucks to hear that, but unfortunately, that is the truth. Right? The truth is, you could have two people that could do exactly the same training, eat exactly the same amount of food, sleep the same, etc., etc. You have to do everything exactly the same, but one of them will look 10 times better than the other one. That is simply because they have far superior genetics. Like what people don't understand is that people that take drugs are the biggest example so Again, I'm not going to name names, but if you look at the biggest bodybuilders in the world, you know, the guys that are winning like Mr. Olympia and those kind of things, obviously it's accepted they're all taking drugs, right? And they look like absolute freaks. They're ridiculously big. They're like cartoon characters, right? But do you think if those guys weren't taking drugs, they'd be friggin' 10 stone, 10 stone skinny dweebs? Obviously, they'd still look ridiculous. Like, I don't want to get sued, but someone like Phil Heath, right? If he was... If he had taken nothing in his entire life, do you think he would be like a tiny skinny guy? Obviously not, he'd still look ridiculously good. He'd still be you know, bigger than everyone else. He'd still have better, uh, a better physique, a more symmetrical, like you know, bigger, more muscle mass than everyone else. But by taking stuff, all he's done is taking himself to the next level. He's got, you know, the average person's here, Phil Heath's gonna be here, and he's taking himself to there, right? Just because he hasn't taken that last little jump, it wouldn't suddenly mean he comes all the way down here. Does that make any sense? Like, the point is that, the, the, the problem is that lots of people, the, you know, the, the most popular example uh, examples of steroid users um, also have the best genetics, but because they're taking steroids, that kind of takes them out of the equation and people can't use those as examples of people with crazy genetics. But the truth is, there are lots of people that have ridiculous genetics that enable them to get you know, crazy, crazy, what seems like an unattainable physique, but it's just because they're incredibly fortunate. You know, at the end of the day, steroids aren't magic. You don't take steroids and suddenly become three times bigger and everything becomes symmetrical. Like, you know, if you have limitations, they're still gonna be there. If you have a ridiculously small chest, taking steroids won't make your chest explode. If your biceps start halfway up your arm, taking steroids aren't gonna friggin' reduce the length of your tendon and make your bicep come down to there and be full. It's still gonna look crap. Ultimately, your genetics, you know, underpins the way you look. And yeah, I guess in conclusion, all I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't just jump to, you know, to conclusions really quickly. You should look at the evidence, you should do some research, you should go and meet people. Like that's the biggest thing. Like I know some people that don't take steroids that have crazy, crazy physiques. And as a result of that, you know, that makes me realize that actually it is possible to get a crazy physique without taking drugs. So I suggest you go and do the same. Go out and meet people, like I said, do some research, just look around. Don't just jump on the bandwagon, don't just make a lazy accusation um, because, you know, like I said, I know people that 
you know, 100% are not taking drugs, but they're being absolutely hammered and being, you know, having loads of accusations thrown at them that they do take drugs. And quite simply, it's not fair. And yeah, I totally get it. You know, I know that you, some of you guys are going to say, well, you know, there are lots of fake naturals out there. Like, you know, there are. There are, of course, some cases of people, I'm not denying it, there are definitely people out there, people at the, you know, the top of the industry that are taking drugs that are claiming that they're natural, right? And that's wrong. I completely, you know, completely disagree with that on a, you know, on every level. But it's not fair that just because of those few people, you tarnish everyone with the same brush, right? That's a massive, you know, issue with society. Is that you can't just you can't just throw a blanket over everyone and make a lazy accusation. You need to have the ability, the you know, just to take a step back and analyze each case on its own merit. And on that note, I'm going to end the video because firstly, I have to physically stop myself from talking. Otherwise, I'll just go on forever, like it is literally a condition and secondly I need to go and take loads of steroids no I mean I mean not take loads of steroids damn it oh.